experts in the field have debated whether these trends should lead clinicians to reconsider a lower age of normal puberty. So I just got windscreens for my microphone and finished up my studio setup. So it's good to be back in the studio without the wind, even though I'm ready for it. Today I wanna to talk about puberty and why the age is actually lowering and one of the crazy things that some doctors are talking about doing in terms of the puberty age range. Let's start with this paper from 2009 in the Medical Science Monitor Journal. And it's about, it's called Estrogen-like Endocrine Disrupting Chemicals Affecting Puberty in Humans, a review. And they, talk, they start by saying estrogenics basically are man-made chemicals that alter the functions of, they interfere with the synthesis, metabolism, binding, or cellular response of natural estrogens. Estrogenics have been found in various plastic products, flame retardants, pesticides, and many other products that are, quote, needed for daily use. And they don't put the quotations on, I did. I think it's ridiculous that we think plastics, that we think pesticides and flame retardants are needed for daily use. But we'll just ignore that for a minute and go on. Some of the greatest effects of estrogenics are on puberty, a period of rapid physiological change like growth spurts, maturation of the gonads and the brain. Gonads and brain. In the next episode, we're gonna talk about fertility and possibly even impacts on the brain in an upcoming episode, or I'll make that soon, I'll prioritize that because that's really interesting, how these artificial estrogens are disrupting our brains. But moving on, so artificial estrogens can lead to something called precocious puberty. That means puberty that comes on too early. And the chemicals they specifically list include BPA, phthalates, the plastic estrogens, and atrazine. So that's, you know, that's something that's important. I mean, that's why puberty is getting earlier. It's artificial estrogens. And let me give you another interesting study I found from, from the Brazilian Archives of Endocrinology and Metabolism from 2007. This one is about soy. It's called High Intake of Phytoestrogens and Precocious Thelarchy. Case report with a possible correlation. Thelarchy, that means premature breast development. So it's similar. So they start by saying precocious thelarchy is the breast development before age eight. And in this case, they had basically a five-year-old girl with thelarchy and they said she had excessive intake of phytoestrogens, 13 to 22,000 times more because of soy formulas. Avoid soy formula, stay away from processed soy. They said parents were advised and soy intake was reduced to once a week. Progression of pubertal development ceased. So then they, they their, their, essentially their conclusion was pubertal development in this case was strong, strongly related to excessive daily intake of soy. It's that simple. Get rid of the estrogen, the artificial estrogen, clear up this problem. But now, okay, 2013, here's the paper I want, to, I want you to really, I want you to get your head around this. The Journal of the Hormones and Behavior. 2013, influence, this paper is called Influences on the Onset of and Tempo of Puberty in Human Beings and Implications for Adolescent Psychological Development. All right, long title. So what do they say? They say, yeah, there's this trend toward earlier onset of puberty in both males and females. And by the way, it's a lot higher in females. It's more frequently found in females, but it's also in males. And they say it's often attributed to improvements in nutrition and health status. Modern doctors are considering this an improvement that we have earlier puberty. And they go on and say, experts in the field have debated whether these trends should lead clinicians to reconsider a lower age of normal puberty. So we have this issue. We have puberty becoming earlier and earlier. I mean, we saw it in a five-year-old girl. We're seeing it below the age of eight frequently in medical situations. So what do they want to do? They want to redefine the age of puberty. So make the problem go away by essentially just redefining the age. It's crazy. I think it's wrong. 
I think it's because these artificial chemicals, especially the ones that act on estrogen, on your estrogen receptor, these estrogenics are causing the puberty age range to lower. Avoid them, avoid them in children, and avoid this problem.